Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are doing something that we have never done before on this channel. We are filming while I have Isla right next to me, my one year old. She's playing in her playpen. I'm hoping that this lasts. I am really hoping that it lasts. Okay, so today I could not be more excited. We are playing with the Jaclyn Hill palette volume two. Funny, quick little story. I am homesick with my daughter today. She actually has the flu and an ear infection. It's been a wild 24, 48 hours, really a wild week. But this is February 13th, the day this launched, and I, because she wasn't going to daycare today like she normally would, I couldn't go to the Mall of America Morphe store and get the palette. So I ordered it online this morning, and then Tim's aunt texted me and said, why don't I come over for a couple hours this afternoon and see Isla and you can go do errands or whatever not knowing that this palette was coming out, not knowing that there were things I wanted to do, not knowing that Isla even had the flu because I hadn't talked to her this week. And so it was so kind, even though Isla had the, has the flu, she came over, she's a nurse, so she came over, hung out with her, I went to the Morphe store and bought the palette. So, long story short, I have an extra palette, so it's not here yet, obviously. I ordered it on the Morphe website this morning because I wanna make sure that I got one. So I'm gonna give that one away to one of you guys because I went to the store and I bought one of my own um, this afternoon and I could not wait to come and play with it. Oh my gosh, I'm like freaking out. I'm so freaking excited right now. So, if you wanna win um, this Morphe palette, Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette volume two, all you have to do is be a subscriber of the channel and comment below and let me know why you want to win this palette and you can tell me also your favorite shade in the palette all right so I was really inspired by the campaign for this palette the specifically the all red eye look and I'm instantly drawn to those tones in this palette I think it's gorgeous absolutely stunning I think it makes so much sense how she said it's like the hot or what is it like the hot older sister I think of her original her OG palette the palette is stunning it's absolutely gorgeous it's like it really is more wearable in person looking like it's more wearable in person than it does online I am just so drawn to like this whole side originally like this shade live in my best and heart on are unbelievable and I know she I would assume she used both of these some of this maybe a little bit of like over here too my man and tipsy girl I love that the shade names are on this palette I know that Morphe redid the packaging for the OG one but I don't have the one where there are shade names so I love that you can see them here it's just easier because it's hard to hold this up and show you every single time um, so I'm really excited to play in this today and do an all red look because of that we're gonna do something that we literally never do on my channel and we're gonna do the eyes first I never do this because these are pressed pigments I assume there's gonna be a little bit of fallout so I want to go ahead and do the eyes first so I'm going to apply my Anastasia eye primer which this is a sample I got at Sephora and I actually really like it you guys um, it's very it dries really fast but it really does a good job of canceling everything out and I'm gonna put this all over the eye and in the inner corner like up to the brow bone all right I'm gonna throw on a really quick brow before we zoom in to do the eyes because I need my brows need to be done before I start my eyeshadow so I'm gonna do that and then we will zoom in okay I also picked up three of her new brushes I got I don't know if these are actually all new these might be part of the other collection um, but they're really gorgeous I got the JH 11 I don't have anything like that in my collection this is like probably the one I'm most excited about um, this is the JH06. I really want to use this with her like mood powder, like like under the eye setting powder. This is like more pointy and thin. And then this one, look, it was like more fanned out in the store. So it was more of like an angled kind of blush brush like. And then this one, um, I wanted to use for those like the mood lighting powder. I'm not even gonna prime my face yet. We're gonna use a priming oil, but we're gonna wait to do that. I don't really want to do that yet because I don't want to have to reprime. So, oh my gosh, let's get started. I'm going to pull up a photo of her. Okay, this, this campaign look. This is the one that we are doing. I am obsessed with this. Like, could not be more obsessed. Let's go into Certified, that kind of creamy white shade, and just put that at the brow bone. And we'll put that all over the lid, too. Way into heart on. Heart on. And we're going to start this. Ooh, ow. In the outer third. And we're, this is our transition shade because the look is so red. 
So we're really just laying groundwork. So we're not packing on color. We're really just laying down a foundation, although the foundation is pigmented. So I'm taking it kind of all the way in. Not kind of, I am taking it all the way in. Does Lipstick Nick have a YouTube channel? I don't think she does, right? She definitely doesn't have time for that. Wow, that color blends out so well. Truly, I was not expecting that. I'm gonna put a little bit like right in the inner corner because this look goes like down and around. It's like full around the eye. So I really want, like I want all of it to be really blended and seamless. So when we layer and blend the red, this is already laid down and buffed out. So it's not gonna be a halo eye, but I'm blending as if it was going to be a halo eye. Okay, this blends so well, it's actually kind of insane. I cannot believe, it's like, what? That is the easiest eyeshadow to blend. And it's a freaking pressed pigment. What? The way these blend is legitimately insane. Like I, I kind of don't understand how they could blend that easy and be like so bright neon like pigmented. They're just, I'm excited to see how they layer. All right, let's take a clean blending and just, I'm barely touching, just going over the edges. Smoke them out. I feel like it's time to go with the red. We're gonna go into Living My Best on that E18 brush and I'm gonna start packing this on the lid. It's everything, it's everything I wanted it to be. Oh my God, hands down, the best red eyeshadow I've ever seen. Ever seen, she's right. I think having a little bit of the shimmers in there makes it more pigmented and way easier to apply. Like it's not patchy at all. Every, oh my gosh, what is even happening right now? This is so smooth. Oh my God. I could literally eat this eyeshadow. That's how much I love it right now. I'm just building it up a little bit, but honestly, it's so opaque and so pigmented. Taking another clean blending and I'm just going to run over those edges. It's a MAC 217 and I'm turning it sideways so that I can like really get in the crease. I'm gonna go into living my best a little on the inner corner. Tap in again. I'm just kind of gonna go where I want a little bit in the crease, but it's not blending off that pink color and it's not blending off the red like it's it's perfection <laughs> what in the world I do think that now looking at the picture that maybe instead of I think maybe instead of using heart on they did use my man which we are going to use too and I feel like they've maybe used both I mean it's they darken it up with black so that's what we're gonna do all right so going over that and then I'm going back in with that like clean blending it just is a little stained and I'm going over the tops, like the edges, edges. Barely touching, just really lightly feathering. Now we're gonna go into the black. This is the C431, I think it's a crown brush, and we're going into Temptress, which is the black. And this is gonna go right at the lash line. You can see in the campaign that she has this, like I'm just focusing on the outer third because we're going to blend it up. So I'll show you, we're gonna lay down a tiny bit of color and then go back into the MAC 217 and we're going to buff it out. I feel like I don't like the way this is laying down the color. Uh, I just don't like the way that that's doing it. It's not doing it for me. So I'm gonna take an AOA brush, it's a little softer. This is an E132 from Shot Miss A. A Little bit of that black. 
and I'm gonna use this brush to buff and just see what happens and I'm keeping it close to that lash line I'm gonna wipe it off now go into that red live in my best and go over the edges I don't know why, but that black, I'm having like a hard time blending it out. Hmm. I don't like the way that looks at all. I'm just kind of going over it with the red, seeing if I can have a little bit of a clean slate here. Okay, so I got it to smoke out. And here's what I think happened. I think this that this was my fault because I cleaned all my brushes before starting with my Sony Kasha Quick Clean and some of them had a lot on them and I think I used the brush the brushes that had still were a little wet because I just used like a dry brush um, that I didn't clean and it worked out and blended it well but I feel like I have to go like blending it really took away that red so I'm gonna go pack that back on over top which will give it like a good smoky effect anyway and then we can keep building the issue is it does cover that black a little which is like kind of nice but kind of also like well I want a little more you know and I'm gonna take this up to the crease and just like add a little bit more red there on both sides I feel better about it I still don't feel great about it but this brush I think is gonna work to help me get that smoky effect that I want Yeah, see that's working. That's why I think I must have messed it up. And now you're definitely getting fallout now, but I'm also just like not being careful at all because I know I can, I'm gonna get to clean them up. And then I'm gonna go over the edges with a tiny bit of My Man, which is that kind of orangey press pigment. Yeah, it's like, it really is like a neon orange. Yeah, that is exactly what brings that look together. It's like this kind of, it, it tones in, or brings in a little bit of the, like, red. But it's like, it's just more red than straight pink, you know? So it just really brings the look together. I like this color a lot. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me go back to my picture real quick. Because I want to, the inner corner... Yeah, it has that like red in there and I want to do that. So I'm going to take a little bit of my man, that coral shade, and bring that on the inner corner. And then a little bit of living my best, but more like not in the exact inner corner, more like at the right at the tear duct. Now let's clean up the under eye and then we will do the, I'll do the face really quick and then I'll come back really quick. <laughs> I need like 10 minutes, but I'm going to clean up under the eyes real quick. I'm going to clean up the inner corner a little bit. And this will all get more blown out, but we're going to do the face first before we come back to it. So I wanted to just go over the products that I'm using here. I am absolutely loving my Smashbox Primer Oil. I just recently picked that up and I've been using it for my dry skin. It's perfect and it allows me to use pretty much any foundation that I want to use, which is great. So I'm loving the combo of the Primer Oil with my Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. I hadn't used it. It's recently rediscovered in my collection and I'm loving it. And I used a lighter shade all over the face and then I did use a little bit of a warmer shade to um, warm up the skin a little bit. And then I use the Elsie Cosmetics Concealer, which again I'm really liking, and the Jaclyn Cosmetics Mood Light Powder in the shade Do Me. And then I contoured the tiniest little bit with the Shade and Light Kit from Kat Von D, the Shade and Light Contour Kit. I really like that. And then I warmed up the face with my Essence uh, Sun Club Bronzer, which big fan of. It's a nice warm color. And then I used the Heavenly Glow M Cosmetics Blush and the Jaclyn Cosmetics Ice Highlighter. Okay, let's finish up the eyes, shall we? I'm gonna go back into that blending brush and I'm just going to make kind of circular motions 
and the outer third, kind of blending that and smoking that out a little bit. Just kind of getting rid of that harsh line. And then we'll go into the lower lash line and it's like very just blown out and it has some of that black in it too. So let's take a little bit of Heart On and My Man. I'm just gonna combine the two and I'm just going to go from the outer corner to the inner corner. She goes all the way in. I'm gonna take more of My Man. Yeah, I'm only gonna use My Man. I just, I think it looks better. It makes it look more red than pink, which is really what she has going on. And then we're gonna go into Living My Best. She has some of that red. I'm gonna tuck this up close to the lashes. And then I'm gonna go in with a clean blending on the bottom and I'm gonna really just like smoke that out and get rid of harsh lines so this is also you could do this with take a little bit of pressed powder or the cream eyeshadow in the palette and just run it under and that helps really create that kind of smoky feathered edge where it's just like really blown out looking without like dragging the color down too far, you know what I mean? And then sometimes I just use my finger to like pat out the edges a little to just make them look a little more blended, especially on the side, just kind of like seamless, like heating them up a little, just kind of diffuses it. I just think it looks like really good. Go back into Temptress and I'm gonna press this against the lower lashes. I have such little product on here and then slowly kind of pull it down I'm even gonna wipe off a little bit more. Pull it down and then start to like wiggle back and forth and like and smoke it out. And she has this in the campaign. I mean, it's pretty smoky. So she has it all the way to the inner corner. And I'd say she also has maybe a little bit of like grateful in there, maybe a little bit of next or crazy but her lower lash line is really smoky. I just want to match the upper lash line, so I'm not gonna go like too crazy with it, but especially I just want to be more careful because I really want it to look like nice and blown out and not harsh. All right, she definitely has a black liner on her tight line and her waterline, so I'm gonna use my Urban Decay in Perversion. I feel like she, I, I need to finish the inner corner, but I wanna see what she has. There's something shiny in there. Of course, it's Jacqueline. I'm gonna take what's left on this brush and just kind of bring it to the inner corner. And then let's add a little pop of shimmer, but not too much. I can't tell if she has something shimmery or not but I'm gonna go with yes, because I feel like she always has a little something shimmery in the inner corner. And we'll use, um, <sighs> whacked myself in the face with our palette. We'll use I'm In It, which is kind of like the only, the only really inner, inner corner shade. Well, that made the look into something that I wasn't really going for. It just turned it a little pink. Cause this has like, this has like a pink purple shift. I should have realized that. <laughs> it's fine. I just took my concealer brush and kind of patted over it a little so it's not as prominent. Okay, let's curl the lashes and add some mascara. All right, Koki Cosmetics Warm Nude Lip Liner, my favorite. Just filling in the sides slightly, not the whole lip. Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. And then she went kind of alternate, so we're gonna do a little Lime Crime Coquette on top. In the middle. 
We'll use a little buxom white Russian. Mm, it's been a while since I've used this one. Wow, feeling so nude on the lips here. Let's do a little Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Ooh, my eyelashes were almost stuck together there. This is the finished look inspired by, and I do not look exactly like her, but the Jaclyn Hill campaign. Um, it's definitely, this is definitely smokier. She has false lashes on, which I'm not a falsies girl. There's definitely like some more black in it. And I mean, like lipstick Nick is like unbelievable, but this is my take on it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely think this palette is stunning. I cannot wait to play with it. I'll definitely create some more wearable looks for you guys, but it's gorgeous. I know you've seen swatches, so I'm not going to do any more of those for you. I hope you have a beautiful day. I love you. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on my next one. Mwah. Bye.